There's no way of knowing if the Boeing MQ-25 Stingray is capable of refueling jets on board American aircraft carriers while in flight. The MQ-25TM Stingray will be the world's first operational carrier-based uncrewed aircraft, with aerial refueling and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance capabilities to improve the CVW and carrier strike group's capability and adaptability. But what makes the MQ-25 special? Its history, as well as other topics, will be discussed in today's video. The Unmanned Carrier Initiated Airborne Surveillance and Strike Program were launched in 2013 by the U.S. Navy to have stealth combat drones deployed aboard its aircraft carriers. The Navy announced a shift focus in 2016 when it allocated its drones to an aerial refueling and surveillance reconnaissance function within a U.S. aircraft carrier's air group. The program is known as the Carrier-Based Aerial Refueling System, and the drone is known as the MQ-25A Stingray. In addition to replacing the F-A-18 Super Hornet combat aircraft deployed on this duty, each aircraft carrier must be able to carry roughly 10 drones for these operations. The aircraft's initial operating capability is scheduled to be reached by 2024. The UAV will assist in reducing the reliance on F-A-18 EF combat strike aircraft for tanking operations while also increasing their availability for strike fighter missions. The MQ-25 Stingray is being deployed at Boeing St. Louis facility in Missouri, USA. The USS Carl Vinson completed the installation of a drone-specific command center on April 13, 2016. It is the world's first aircraft carrier to employ one. By 2022, all of America's aircraft carriers will be equipped with it. Initially, Boeing, Northrop Grumman, Lockheed Martin, and General Atomics presented their ideas. Lockheed Martin proposes the Sea Ghost, a concept based on the RQ-170 Centennial, which is a variant of General Atomics Avenger. Northrop Grumman threw in the towel in November 2017. In August 2018, Boeing won an $805.3 million engineering and manufacturing development contract to build and produce four MQ-25A Stingray unmanned tankers. Fabrication, testing, supply, and support of UAVs are all included in this deal. The U.S. Navy awarded Boeing an $84.7 million contract modification in April 2020 for three more MQ-25 UAVs, increasing the total number of orders to seven. In November 2020, U.S. Navy aviators from VX-1 and VX-2-3 squadrons engaged in MQ-25 simulation training, which allowed them to master flight operations from the ground control station from startup to shut down. In December 2020, Boeing and the U.S. Navy flew the MQ-25 test asset T-1 with aerial refueling storage. The U.S. Navy and Boeing successfully operated a test asset for the MQ-25 Stingray aboard an aircraft carrier for the first time in December 2021, indicating that the aerial refueling drone could be incorporated into a carrier environment for the first time. Taxiing and parking on the carrier's flight deck, linking to the catapult, and emptying the landing space were among the maneuvers. It also assessed the deck handling system's functionality, efficiency, and operating attributes under various scenarios. The demonstration of Boeing's T-1 test asset for the MQ-25 on board the USS George H.W. Bush was controlled remotely via a portable deck control device on the carrier's deck, according to Boeing. There is no better way to judge the effectiveness of a carrier aircraft design and its integration into the air wing than to test that new aircraft at sea, said Captain Chad Reed, the program manager for unmanned carrier aviation. The USS George H.W. Bush is the first of four carriers to receive the Unmanned Carrier Aviation Mission Control System, which will allow the Stingrays to fly. This is yet another important step in proving MQ-25's integration with the carrier air wing on the flight decks of our fleet's aircraft carriers, said Captain Chad Reed, Unmanned Carrier Aviation Program Manager. Making history, the first woman warrant officer aerial vehicle operator graduates from officer candidate school. On February 18, 2022, the first woman warrant officer to finish officer candidate school at Officer Training Command Newport was chosen to join the Navy's first aerial vehicle operator with designator 737X. First warrant officer Josia Pegler, a native of Rancho Cucamonga, California, joined the Navy in 2019 and formerly served with Helicopter Maritime Strike Squadron 70 at Naval Air Station Jacksonville, Florida as an aviation electrician's mate third class. In 2016, she graduated from California State University, Long Beach with a bachelor's degree in healthcare administration. 
According to a Navy press release, the Navy announced a new warrant officer specialty designator in December 2020, whose duty would be to operate carrier-based MQ-25 Stingray unmanned aerial vehicles, which are slated to appear in fleet carrier air wings in 2024. Out of 22 participants, Slade stated that she was the only female in her main selection class. Design the MQ-25A can transport up to 6,800 kilograms of fuel over 926 kilometers. It can refuel fighter planes like the F-A-18 Super Hornet, EA-18G Growler, and F-35C, greatly expanding the range and duration in the air. The MQ-25 is powered by a single Rolls-Royce AE-3007N turbofan engine with a thrust rating of 10,000 pounds, which is a variation of the engine used in the Navy's MQ-4C Triton. Compared to flying wing UAVs, the plane is less stealthy. It does, however, have a stealthy fuselage design, a flush intake to conceal engine blades from radar, and a V-tail. Satellite and radio communications will be used to carry out the refueling procedures. The Navy's standard catapult launch and recovery mechanisms will be combined with the unmanned tanker. Core power electronic circuit breaker unit technology will be installed, giving operators sophisticated control and visibility of the onboard power systems. The AE-3007N is the most recent high-bypass turbofan engine in the AE-3007 series. Boeing recently announced the construction of a new plant to produce the MQ-25 Stingray. Boeing announced plans to develop a new high-tech plant in Illinois to produce the MQ-25 Stingray, the Navy's first operational carrier-based unmanned aircraft on September 17, 2021. According to Boeing, the 300,000-square-foot plant at Mid-America St. Louis Airport, which is set to open in 2024, will initially employ around 150 mechanics, engineers, and support workers to produce the MQ-25 Stingray. However, with more orders, employment might approach 300 people. The whole MQ-25 aircraft and its systems were digitally designed, resulting in high-fidelity models that were utilized to promote quality, efficiency, and flexibility throughout the manufacturing and sustainment process. According to reports, the new MQ-25 facility will have cutting-edge manufacturing procedures and technologies, such as robotic automation and advanced assembly techniques, to increase product quality and staff ergonomics. Boeing and the Navy have been flight testing the Boeing-owned MQ-25 test asset from Mid-America Airport for the past three years. T-1 has refueled an F-A-18 Super Hornet, an E-2D Hawkeye, and an F-35C Lightning II on recent flights, as stated earlier in this video. According to Boeing, the U.S. Navy plans to buy more than 70 MQ-25 planes to help expand the range of carrier air wings, most of them being constructed at the new plant. Boeing St. Louis plants are now building the first seven MQ-25 aircraft and two ground test items, which will be transferred to Mid-America for flight testing. The MQ-25 program office will continue in St. Louis, as will the core engineering staff. The new MQ-25 factory will be in addition to Boeing St. Clair's existing production operations, which includes the CH-47 Chinook, F-A-18 Super Hornet, F-15, and other defense items. The Navy also seems to want 10 CH-53K King Stallion helicopters, 21 TH-73A trainer helicopters, 5 TH-73A trainer helicopters for the Marine Corps, 3 MQ-4C Triton unmanned aerial vehicles, 4 Boeing MQ-25 Stingray carrier-based unmanned tankers, and 5 MQ-9A Reaper unmanned aerial vehicles. Through the FYDP, the Navy aims to purchase 4 MQ-25 unmanned tankers per year. The Navy aims to purchase 72 Stingrays to relieve certain F-A-18EF Super Hornets of their tanking duties, allowing them to focus on combat missions. The FQ-25's initial engineering and production model is expected to arrive later this year, according to the Navy. Likewise, the Navy is keeping the budget amounts for the next-generation air dominance aircraft under wraps. If you've made it this far in the video and want to see more, check out our video on the EA-6B Prowler, the world's most insane aircraft. So, how do you feel about the MQ-25 Stingray? Despite having a few successful tests, do you believe it will have some problems like some of the other projects that Boeing is working on, such as the Boeing Starliner? Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.